My name is Mike Foster, the Entrepreneur's Mentor, and welcome to my latest video snippet, my snippets and my thoughts to help you in the development of your own business. And this snippet is entitled Retailing for the Non-Retailer. I want to share five things that I've just identified in the retail environment that I think we can um, take into our own business, whether that's a service business, a product related business, or even retail. First of all, they're really clear in the stores about what their core or their best offering is. It's prominent, it's easy to find. You know, uh, I've just been to a sports shops, they obviously know boots and trainers are the key thing. They are prominent in every way. But also the store layout is considered so that actually it's not so easy to find. You have to walk through the store to get to that prominent offer and therefore you have visibility of the whole offering. There's also then the sale items, those sale items that are set up to attract you to the things you didn't go into the store to actually want, but you are attracted to, uh, and then give you opportunities to buy additional items as the customer. And sometimes those are lost leaders encouraging you to make that purchase so that you get into the habit of buying something. All of the retailers I'm sure that you engage with have a strong brand that you resonate with that pull you back towards them each and every time that you need something that they have to offer. And I see in all retail environments that we always have the opportunity to browse, obviously, and they enable us to shop, but they do have a call to action, a strong call to action, the till, the pay here sign. And how often do we perhaps not ask with such a strong call to action? As always, I hope that video is thought provoking and useful to you. As always, follow my YouTube channel and the next snippet that I release, you'll be one of the first to know.